Go, readings and salutations, universe. This is Krita, and this is Legend of Dragoon, Disc Three. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, I don't feel like it should be waiting, but hey, oh, there we go. Cool. Do we have any sound? We do. There we go. Oh, look at that! Land ho! Uh, we saw land like an hour ago, so I don't know why you're saying that. Dude, I don't even think they're moving. Like, comparing the distance, if I was to, like, hold my fingers up, that ship wasn't moving. They were trying to make it look like it was bobbing forward, but it wasn't. It was just a, a still image. Aww. I like this town. I like this town a lot. Look at that arm. <laughs> And, of course, Rose is the one over first. There's the smell of blood around this place, but it's not bad. <laughs> At all. It's been a long time. Have you been here? Um, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm very popular, that's why. Congo cross sea first time. Fernie, the water city. This port is the front door to Mil Cezal. Anyway, I wonder why Lloyd revealed his destination to us. I still don't know. Whatever he wants, this will be the end of it. I agree. For the sake of the victims so far, it's not only that. In order to prevent there being new victims, we have to stop Lloyd. That's uh, a lovely sentiment you have. All right, what do we got here? Um, got some, got some buildings. Hopefully, we can see some boats. I feel like there's a barrel here. Haha, <laughs> Stardust. I like Stardust. Hello. You know what? There's fairies living in the evergreen forest. My book said so. You don't say fairies, huh? Is that a kitty I hear? Oh no. I should have shouldn't have read the tale about fairies in the evergreen forest. Now my son just keeps talking about them. Whatever will I do? It's a good question. Let's see. I don't think that any of like the stores work. Uh if we don't have a boat. And yes, we're gonna get a little boat! You know what we need is a boat. Because of the incident, the sales of items has increased. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. How about you sell something to me, huh? Yeah, well, it's because I need to be on the other side of the counter to do that. I need to be on the water. Ay ay ay. Look how awesome this place is. I love it. Well, we explored everything. On to the next page. Oh, look at all these guys. These look like uh, the guys we fought at um, the place. <gasps> look, that's Drake the Bandit. I never noticed that before, but that's totally his uh, design there. This seems to be all of us. Now I'll explain. We have to overcome the white wolf called Kamui that lives in the evergreen forest between this village and Denigrad. Did you call us here just for that? Not only that, the boy from the village, Teo, disappeared in the evergreen forest. That's totally Drake the Bandit's, like, stuff, huh? The strategy is simple. All of us will beat the bushes. All over evergreen forest. What? I promise a five times larger prize for those of you who defeats Kamui. I promise the same for those who saves Teo. It's gonna be me, I like reward. Money! Um, yeah, these are all people that were at the tournament. That's pretty cool. Except for the guy uh, in the middle. Who are you? I've never seen you before. Uh, yeah, but I fought you in the tournament. Or at least your twin. Are you scared of your, of your wits? Out of your wits and cannot talk? Cut it out! We have to cooperate, or cannot overcome Kamui. Hmm. 
rubbish. I'll let you all know when we'll start. Until then, you have some free time. You are dismissed. Hut two, three, four. Hut two, three, four. That's nice. I would like to join this little adventure. Hello! Sorry about uh, that disrespect. Everybody's feeling uptight uh, before the battle with the savage wolf. Please excuse them. I understand. You're not here to overcome the wolf. Uh, be careful moving forward on your journey. We're gonna leave tomorrow. Dude, what if I want to be on this journey, huh? You ever think of that, huh? Punk? Heck yeah, we're doing that. Side quests? All about that life. Um, I will buy this and that with the prize. Hee hee hee. Yes. Money will certainly help buy you everything. Do, 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 do. It was three years ago, Taya bought home an injured wolf cub. That wolf is Kamui that we're talking about. So that just told us that it's totally his little animal. It's his pet, his pet wolf. I don't remember reading that before. Might be a slight spoiler. And as always, save when you get the chance. It's very important. Little savey action there. Oh, we have almost no gold. Look at that. It's terrible. Um, oh, and a quick little update on Rose. We did do one demon stance. And uh, Dart is almost done with Madness Hero. I'm looking forward to being done <laughs> with that. It's such a. It does not flow. Crush Dance is where my heart is. I'll be right with you. Here it is. Here's the license for the boat. The mayor gave us an order to rent the boats to warriors for free. Warriors? Well, uh, you're the warriors who came to overcome the wolf, are you? No, uh, no, we're not. We're just travelers. I got a little bit of extra gold. I'll rent it. You're from Tiberoa. With a huge boat? With a huge boat. Uh, yes, it's the Queen Fury. Well, wait a minute. One, two, three, seven. You missed a few numbers there. Could you be the famous Dart and companions who conquered the sea dragon in Elisa Bay? I guess the story has tra traveled. Hon, let the mayor know about this. He'll be happy to hear about it. Go, go. Here, take this. It's a license for the boat. So we would have got that no matter what. I have to thank you. Thanks to you, we can go fishing and go to Tiburoa and, and, you know, maybe maybe go to a... Go to a nice hot spring, huh? I hear they have gendered hot springs. Uh, I, mm, yeah. An onsen, I believe. Onsen. Alright, we got our boat. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go to the left. I see I see a bucket of weapons. Talk to the weapon shop. Ha ha ha! Can't fool me! I'll find you. Uh, buy a dancing dagger? We have one. Giganto helm. I mean, sure. Uh, increases escape from physical attack points by five. That sounds amazing. Um, I'm gonna buy a few of these. I want to say that these are the boots that like actually have a hidden speed upgrade too. Uh, D stone petrification raises physical and magical attacking power by lo what looks like 20 so this is a uh, What's that? What was that physical ring that thing increase something one of those things gave us 10 points of attack damage and Rose used it for a while now we have something that gets 20 and Goes for magical which is pretty cool elude cloak is quite nice escapes by 20 points, so it increases your likelihood of dodging something by 20%. Uh, hello, fisherman! Are you the heroes from Tiberoa? It seems there's no need for you to show up. Wow. You jerk. Um, alright. So that's both of the things in that area. Uh, hotel. Didn't, weren't we just in the hotel? I think we're gonna go to the front. Thankfully, 
we're nice and healthy right now, so it's all good. I think the item shop is to the left. There we go. Hello! Talk. Talk to item shop. Do you have anything useful? Usually, the answer is no. Ooh, healing fog. Uh, this is a 100% heal for one person, which is pretty nifty. Um, Sun Rhapsodies are reasonable. Angel's Prayer, I want one more of those. Oh, geez, we have 32 items. What do we have so much of? Uh, healing Potion, we don't need that. We don't... Healing Fogs are good, but Healing Breezes are better. Uh, get out of here Spirit Potions. Those are rubbish. Uh, mind purifiers. Usually one is a good number to have. I'm not sure what body purifier would give, um, would be useful for, but that's okay. I like keeping a few of the damaging abilities. Speed up is repeatable. Attack balls and recovery balls. Oh yeah, we got a whole bunch of those from, uh, from that stupid cave. That's right. It'd be really embarrassing if I accidentally sold the magic six stone best item in the game right there and the signet is wonderful as well well that pretty much paid for our boots so that's cool i don't know if the boots will be good we'll take a look momentarily to the right and i don't think there's anything um in the house to our right that was sort of just a an empty area right was this the house with a hidden slide? One of these houses has a hidden slide. I don't think so, though. Alright, we'll just hop off. We'll double check. Because I gotta... Gotta make sure that we remember... All the fun things. One of these places has a... What? It's a duck! Shaped window decoration. Children must love these. You know, these houses are really cool, though. Like, just carved... And it looks really natural and stuff. Very organic. I like them. Oh, the music here is lovely too. Go up. Alright, I think the only uh, way for us to go, uh, we came from the hotel getting the boat, so this is the way. Such a nice little town. So that guy is obviously being a Snorlax on the right, so I'm not going to even bother going to the right. Um, clinics. <sighs> clinics never have anything, but we'll double check. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Clinics are so pointless. <laughs> like, in this game, I don't think I've ever used a clinic. They're useful if you have something that... Yeah, 50 gold to treat something. And if you have, like, poison or something that actually sticks around after a battle, like, confusion will go away. Um, I think fear goes away. Maybe fear sticks around. But you can always just Dragoon. I don't know. Uh, Mayor's House... That is why I keep one of both of the little cure things, the mind one and the body one. Just to, you know, take care of whatever ailment we might have. Are they coming yet? The heroes from Tibidoa. I'm surprised if you're so excited about me, why don't you wait down there? Oh, I couldn't sit still. I was just pacing around waiting for you. The story of your heroic deeds in Tibidoa have reached us here in Fernie. It is wonderful what you did. And now I'd like you to, I'd like you to listen to my story. P please wait. I don't know what you're talking about. I would like to talk to you briefly about the sad situation in this village. Would you please listen to me? Okay. I mean, there was a Snorlax in the way and we explored everywhere, so obviously. <laughs> this is my Daughter, Fa. A few days ago, my daughter was attacked by a wolf. Fortunately, the injury was not bad. However, since then, she hasn't talked at all. Probably the shock of the incident. Poor 
a thing? I really like kids. Dark, can we have some kids? <clears throat> the wolf is becoming more savage every day. Now he has been joined by monsters from the evergreen forest, and they attack people. I see. The warriors outside are the group headed for battle. Indeed, if we finish off the wolf, your daughter may become better. But it is more complicated than that. The wolf, called Kamui, that attacked Fa was kept by a boy in this village until recently. And the boy who kept Kamui, named Teo, has disappeared. On the night Fa was injured, Teo disappeared from his home. Probably he feels responsible and ran away. Teo has been Fa's friend since they were little. They are best friends. And you want us to cooperate with you on your mission? Yes, of course. I cannot force you. Now we have a lot of warriors. Maybe they're enough. Oh, sorry about this. I have made you listen to such a long time without thinking about you at all. Well, as my apology, why don't you stay at my house for the night? I know that listening to me took some time, but why don't you stay the whole night, uh, which will take up more time. I don't know. Do you like Shauna? Well, Shauna likes you too. She t talks about kids all the time. For tonight only, thank you. I'm glad. Fa is happy too. She's been lonely since her mother passed. Now, let me see. When you're ready to stay, come back. I will prepare dinner with Fa. Uh... <laughs> oh, what's up this room? I don't remember this. Uh, no wonder I don't remember this. It's... It's very forgettable! <laughs> totally pointless. Uh, anything up here? I doubt it. Click around, looking for like a Pokemon hidden thing. Are you ready to stay here? Yeah, sure. We have to move that Snorlax guy off of our path. And I think that something slightly important happens here. Yes, dear? Are you sleepy? You want to go to bed together? Probably she wants warmth. Let's go. Has Haskell's thinking, man, I wish I had uh, tried that first. What? What is that? This lullaby. Home of Haskell, 27 years ago. Isn't it a lovely tune? This tune is the, a lullaby that I am dedicating to my future baby. That might be better for her than mastering the martial arts. <laughs> She's sleeping now. Isn't it a sweet tune? I learned this from Dart. Dart knew this tune? He said his late mother sang it to him. It's a special lullaby for Dart. What? I see. It's not. It was not a coincidence for me to be here. Now keep in mind that previously, uh, we we learned that Dart's mom is named Claire, and his daughter's name is Claire. So, well. Uh, originally, Albert said, well, it's a statistical unlikelihood that they would both be named Claire. And someone pointed out a bone difference. Might might have been Albert as well. 4% um, of all women were named Claire or something like that uh, in, in that area. So the idea is that Haskell, based on that, 
is quite clearly Dart's grandfather, which is pretty cool. It's a tune from my memory. Do you, re do you remember? When you first came to Celez, I was little and you used to sing this song to me. I remember that. Back then, I used to take care of you as if you were my real baby sister, Shauna. Now, Maru is just hiding there. She's trying to learn about romance and whatnot. <laughs> like a baby sister. But many things have changed since then. You and I too, Dart. Yeah, you and I too, Shauna. <laughs> yes, we have. Childhood friend. Hmm. I wonder how my childhood friend is doing. The moon that never sets. I hadn't noticed, but the moon has been involved, involving itself in our journey. My, my head hurts! Shauna! What's wrong? Are you alright? Ah. Oh, that moon. What are we going to do about it, huh? I'm fine now. I can leave any time. <laughs> are you really okay? You can stay here forever if you like. Thank you very much, but I have to go. I'll see you soon. Let's go. We have to find Lloyd soon or it'll be too late. I'm with you. Man, am I with you. Let's move along. And we're gonna go to the right, and... No! Wasn't... That's not... I didn't click clinic! I don't think I did. Leave! Leave this rotten clinic. There's nothing ever at a clinic. I probably... I probably clicked the clinic. Now very carefully. To the right. Thank you. Now the, there was a guy standing here. That's what I call a Snorlax. Something that's obviously in your pathway. Uh, that you can't move because it impedes on the story. Hello! Calm down. We have so many warriors. Teo will come back safe. So these must be his parents. Kamui is a monster now. It's not the Kamui of before. Oh no, Teo! Up here. And to a room up here. Is this it? Wee! Good doink. Ow. That's not very fun. There's gotta be a way. Now that's obviously a pathway down there, right? So where is it? Is it up here? Hello? Where's the lever? I remember being, there being something. Honestly. Where is it? Because we go down here and we bump into this wall and I know there's a lever hiding somewhere. Maybe we're not supposed to go down there yet? No, I refuse to believe that. Let me find it. Come on. I know, I know. I'm wasting everyone's time. But there's only a few folks who watch. Speaking of which... Hi, Hannah. I think... Oh. I, I heard a... I heard something around here. There it is. What is it? Ha ha! There's a rope! We got it. Alright. Now that move, the 
the little thing of obstructing our view, and that's our little slide down. And there's got to be something here. Metal basin. That was a good guess. Treasure chest. Alright, well, we got the stardust, which is what we ultimately did want. And another lever. Come on, there we go. Hey, no. There we go. And now we can go up the ladder and move on to the next episode. This has been Krita. This has been Legend of Dragoon. We just explored Fernie. I want to say the Water City, but who knows. I'll double check what it to make sure. Is it the Water City? Ha! <laughs> Fernie the Water City. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye-bye!